How's it going, everybody? Hope you're all doing well. So I wanted to share with you a small piece of kit that I take everywhere with me, especially out here, kind of out in the middle of nowhere, lovely place that I'm at, hiking, doing some stuff like that. But even in the city or stuff like that, I still carry this particular item with me. And mainly, it is a pocket size trauma kit. Now, they make certain ones out there. I specifically piece this one together and I'll throw everything in the description box below if you are interested in something like this. But I'll just throw it out here on the ground real quick and I'll show you what I carry with me. It's very easily slips in a pocket, especially cargo pocket or something like that, just kind of disappears, goes away. Now, it depends if you wear cargo pants and stuff like that. Personally, people will not carry these because they're too big and bulky. Mainly, I'm not really too concerned. I carry this off duty, on duty, all that kind of stuff. So let's dive into it. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Maybe you can get some ideas for your kit, other stuff like that to carry with you every single day. All right, so I have the bandana thrown out here, which of course, I mean, is a required piece of kit in my opinion, but here's the kit, the trauma kit actually itself. Small, easily put into a cargo pocket, something like that, at least in my opinion, especially every day or out in the back country, something like that. Now, this is a right in the rain organizer. This is actually originally meant to put a uh, notepad and pen inside. There's actually little slots for pens and stuff in there, but this works pretty well of holding equipment together. Now, what is the number one thing why trauma kits get raided? Funny enough, it's band-aids. And they're all stuffed in here. Believe it or not, this is a trauma kit, but I keep band-aids in there because everyone says, hey, do you got a band-aid? Hey, do you got this? Hey, do you got that? It's always a band-aid, majority of the time at least. So that's what I have. A few assorted uh, bandanas. Here is some Neosporin in there along with some gloves. Now getting into the kit, actually what it has inside it, I have some H&H compressed flat gauze. This stuff works really well, especially for wound packing, other things like that, works extremely well. Below that, I have quick clot. This stuff's a little bit expensive, but works extremely well, of course, for packing and getting that coagulant to stop the bleed immediately wound packing again, and then wound seals or a chest seal to stop that tension pneumothorax from occurring. If your chest cavity um, feels, uh, fills up with um, air and it starts compressing your lungs together, this will uh, mitigate that or stop that from occurring. And then over here on the other side is a small compression bandage. This is a mini compression bandage by H&H really cheap they're about eight bucks at least last time i checked and that is everything in this kit so this is a reasonable amount of kit now of course always on me to go with it is a tourniquet this is a soft t wide i like these tourniquets because they're aluminum work extremely well and this is a kit that i have on me every single day whether it be at work with me as i am military law enforcement whether it be I'm out here enjoying myself, this kit always goes everywhere with me. Mainly if you have a way to put holes in people, which some people carry, I think you should have a way to, in a way, plug holes or you know, stop the bleeding mainly for yourself or other injuries. This is a good kit to maybe have attached to a chainsaw or something like that, or just in general anywhere it can stay on you. So I'll place all these items in the link below or description box below with links if you guys want to pick up some items like this. I do. I know they make other kits of micro trauma kits out there, but this is what I carry with me all the time. It's something that I put together years ago, and it works extremely well. So if you guys like this kind of stuff, definitely hit like and subscribe. And before I go, this I it was not my idea to put it together. A friend of mine. Um, put it together and I just kind of copied it, but I've been running it for many years and it works extremely well. So 
guys like that kind of stuff, hit like, subscribe, greatly appreciate it. And I hope y'all have a great day.